Hello, welcome to Sivan CSA BSD training. So in this session, I would like to explain a few things about customer and vendor master configuration so that in S4 HANA, so that you, you people can explain during your interview process whenever you face the interview question like explain about customer and vendor master configuration changes in S4 HANA. So let us go to the system. So we all know that customer and vendor master data, whenever you type the transaction codes like FD01, FD02, XK01, MK01, XD01 and VD01 transactions, they're all compromised now. They are not available. And the system automatically redirects to the transaction code called BP, that is business partner. So in the business partner transaction code, we can create the same customer as a vendor and vendor as a customer. Only thing is we need to include the roles while creating the business partner. Here we can see the business partner master data. The general data remains same for both of them. However, the BP roles to create the customer master data. So FI company code data and sales organization data can be included in terms of the business partner roles. The similar way for the uh, vendor master data also, the company code data for uh, FI purpose and then purchasing order data for MM purpose. The roles are like FLVN00 and FLVN001 for MM consultants. So this is how we need to select while creating the business partner itself which role you wanted to be in. Even including the credit master data, if at all you wanted to include that particular role, then while creating business partner data, you need to include the BP role that is UKM000. The configuration steps. The customer master configuration steps like normally as usual in SAP, how we did the define account groups with screen layouts, create number ranges for customers and assign number ranges to customer account groups. A similar way, business partner configuration steps also where we need to define number ranges. We have to define groupings and assign number ranges. So define number assignment for the direction business partner to customer. These settings are mandatory. It is for the vendor master data and business master. So here also we need to define the account groups with the screen layouts and create number ranges for vendors and assign number ranges to vendor account groups. The BP configuration steps are like we need to define number ranges, we need to define groupings and assign number ranges, and then define number assignment for direction BP to vendor. Configuration of one-time customer or vendor and BP business partner. The one-time customer or vendor configuration settings are like, normally we used to define the account groups. The similar way, we, we will define one account group and then there is a checkbox called one-time account in that particular account group. So we need to activate that field. Then create external, we have to activate the external number ranges for customer or vendor accounts. Assign number ranges to the customer or account, vendor account groups. Business partner configuration steps for one-time customer are like define external number ranges, define groupings and assign number ranges. And we need to define a number range assignment for direction business partner to one-time customer or vendor. So here we can see the business partner transaction code BP See, this can be created with the general data first, and then that can be extended to either uh, customer master data or vendor master data. So extension of business partner master data. And the table is BUT000 in S4 HANA and KNA1 for customer and LFA1 is the supplier. The transaction code we can use the SE16N to see these tables. In customer master data, we are using two BP roles as of now, like FLCU00 FI. Uh, which is finance and the FLCU 01 SD that is sales organization data. That means each and every business role or business partner role that represents one organizational information. Like if it is FLCU 00, it represents the company code data. If it is FLCU 01, it represents the sales organization data in SAP S4 and SD. Whereas in vendor master data, if it is FLVN 00, that represents the company code data, and then FLVN01 that represents the MM that is purchasing data in material master data. Thank you all. Have a nice day.